Hi everybody and welcome back to my TV show reactions. Today we are checking out Cobra Kai Season 1, Episode 5, Quiver. That's a pretty cool name for a title. Um, last, ni last night, last time on Cobra Kai, Daniel was doing karate. Daniel visited Mr. Miyagi's grave. Sam is in love with Miguel. Not confirmed, but it's confirmed in my mind. Uh, Johnny has students now, finally, for the first time. Um, Sam's friend, who I don't remember the name of, who always gets bullied, is now doing karate, and she's pretty good at it. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Um, Daniel atoned for his mistake, sort of, by trying to up the rent for everyone else. And I guess the rent is still up for everyone, so that kind of sucks. But Johnny can make rent now because he has students. So at least Johnny is safe. Everyone else may not be safe in that little strip mall, but, you know, I don't care about them. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little rude. Uh, but, you know, I... I just care about Johnny. And yeah, that's kind of it. Kyler is out of here still. He was only in the last episode for the fight. I'm hoping he's still in it because I want to I want to see him get beat up more and more and more. You know, like every episode I want someone to just beat him up. <laughs> and then those uh, really rich girls as well. Sam is not friends with them anymore. One of them has been like dieting or something without the other one. That's a pretty big betrayal. And... I hope that I hope that the blonde main girl gets beat up as well for some reason. Um, I just don't like her. Maybe not beat up, but like I hope something bad happens to her. If you'd like to check out more content from me, um, you can head over to my Patreon. There we have early access reactions for all of my Cobra Kai episodes as well as movies on my YouTube channel. There's also uncut videos for all of my movie reactions and two exclusive Patreon movies a month chosen by you guys on Patreon. Uh, thank you so much if you check it out, and let's get back to my reaction. Yeah, so without further ado, I'm very excited for this episode, Cobra Kai, Season 1, Episode 5, Quiver. Tremble or shake with a slight rapid motion, a slight trembling movement or sound, especially caused by fear. A group of cobras. A group of cobras is called Quiver? That's really cool. Is this young Johnny? Like, we already seen him young, but this is like young Johnny, you know? <gasps> Did Johnny get bullied so he joined Cobra Kai so he could become the bully? <gasps> it's John Kreese! I'm not gonna lie, I missed him. That was an awesome intro. The intro is still happening, I guess. Oh, oh my god. I understand his nervousness. This is so wholesome. He doesn't even know what to do with himself. Not, not line up in a line. L lines, getting lines. You mean like Rose? Yeah. <laughs> Rose is the correct term. I wanted Daniel, a Daniel school versus a Johnny school, you know? <laughs> like a giant showdown battle of the two sides of karate, good versus evil. Even though Johnny's side is not like evil karate and Daniel's is not good karate. They're just different, different methods, you know? Oh my god. Dress her up and teach her tricks. Yeah, but what about you? Oh, I already know all your tricks. Huh. And let's try to remember what happened 10 years ago when you and I hit the mat for a little karate. <laughs> <laughs> he was a karate lesson gone wrong. This is on some big old packages. You know, like Straight's favorite pastime. Shut up. Hey, man, grab your purse. Let's go. I have work. What, like a job? Oh, yeah. Look at the pants. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> it's just temporary. Oh, they tried. They. That line did not work for me. Let your feet in there. Are you sure you're right handed? Are you sure you're right handed? Oh 
like he's a teacher who can give us a bad grade. We're paying him. He works for us. It's not like he can actually hurt us. <sighs> oh my god. They're gonna fight. Let that be a lesson to all of you. <laughs> yeah, but you can't quit. I got yelled at, got my ass kicked, and then gave him my money. You know who lives like that? <laughs> Hookers. Yeah, yeah, but he's not that mad of a guy. You know? He compared himself to a hooker. <laughs> Talk. Besides, I don't need to learn karate when I have you. <gasps> yes! You've humbled him. I feel like he's gonna be planning something though. Kyler is gonna be planning something big. Oh, they have popcorn there? What the heck? We had a bunch of pain in the ass stuff piled up for weeks. Inventory, sticker swaps. Kid knocked most of it out before lunch. So you're saying I should fire you and give him your job? Oh, I think my dog's here. Coming up, coming up. Wednesday, someone has to rotate the cars in the showroom. Keep the inventory fresh. I see that Porsche 911 over there? It's a beaut, right? Well, the boss has been wanting to move it up front by the windows. You think he can handle that? Oh. Sure. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Oh my God. Is he just, I hope he doesn't just take it. It's just a rumor. Hey, everybody. Who let the pigs out? I did because I ordered the fetal pigs. <laughs> that was a really bad joke. Thank you. I'm gonna go grab a chair. Yeah, no problem. They're in love, they're in love, they're in love. They're in love. We're in a, in a crowded showroom? What, what are you, out of your mind? What? What were you thinking? Screw this. Yeah, everyone's so mean. What? Make a fist. Make a fist. If you're gonna punch your boss, you gotta make a tight fist. Thumb around the outside underneath. Yeah. Squeeze the knuckles, extend the hands straight out. You see that? All right, come on. Nice. Let it fly. I'll hit my hand. Put that anger out. I'm gonna head back inside and announce the sorry you almost got killed sales event. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Daniel is so nice. Daniel is so nice. I love Daniel. I love Daniel. Thanks, I'm taking these super awesome karate lessons with But you telegraph the sweep. When you lift up your foot like that, it's just all the weight to your back leg. Or She's gonna start karate at the end of this episode, yeah. Stupid, stupid rumors, hurtful lies. People are monsters. Yeah, you shouldn't worry about it. Those guys are assholes to us too. I mean, they call me Rhea, so. Yeah. Not anymore. Now he's super Rhea. No, who's sharing? They're so in love, and I'm in. I'm. I'm here for it. All right. If you don't want me to call you lip, then don't have a weird lip. Can't you get surgery for that? I was born with a cleft lip. This is the scar from the surgery. Yeah. And it was worse before that. Oh my God, Johnny. And that sucks, man. You should sue. Can we just? Please change the topic. You don't think I want to? It's tough when it's right in front of me. If you want to be- He's trying to egg, egg him on. You wanted a full dojo. You got one. Not full like that. Yeah, I get it. All right, they're losers. Maybe I'm a loser too. Yes, Miguel, put some sense into him. No, it- Never mind, it's just- You don't know what it's like to be us. I'll see you tomorrow. The flashback at the start of the episode, he's going to remember that again. I'm pretty sure he does. John Lawrence probably put a lot of, a lot of tears in Johnny's eyes. Only if you want to. Okay, envelope's on my desk. I feel like he's messing Thanks, with Luke. him again. And don't lose it. I'm in enough trouble around here already. Okay. Stevia. Not while I'm here. <laughs> oh, maybe he wasn't lying because he didn't like your little like <laughs> laugh at the end, you know? Like some cartoony villain. Is 
Is it Miguel? I hope it's Miguel. Oh. Oh yeah, it is okay. I could have gone somewhere in life. I could have been bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, it's Miguel. Uh. I love it. So wholesome. Honey, how was work? Shitty. The Wallace is being a real pain in my rear. I had to. He's knows that he does not like his dad. I was wondering if I could take a karate class. Karate? Ha! Look at you. You're. Oh my God. Tonight, please. Tonight? What are you talking about? Yeah. Every night. I got chills. That was really good and really sad. He also had an unsupportive dad, but the dad was in his life. Robbie? Did, <laughs> did you sense that I was here? Oh, oh reflection. Yeah. Did you sense that I was here? <laughs> My karate. It's cool. You want to stick around? Learn a few things? Yes. Sure. <laughs> All right. <gasps> that you're so happy. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. And right now you're all weak. And I know that. Because I was you. I used to have no friends. It's true. Used to be the weirdo kid. Not that weird. I still true. hooked up with babes and all, but the <laughs> point is, I wasn't always the badass sensei I am today. <laughs> I wasn't that weird. I still hooked up with babes. <laughs> what? Welcome <gasps> to Cobra Kai. Eli, what? The Mohawk kid is Eli. All that matters is that you become badass. <laughs> yes. Hawk. Fall in. His name's Hawk. Sick. Fear does not exist in this dojo, does it? The music right now, too? Exists in this dojo, does it? No sensei. Oh my god. I'm ready to learn. That was so awesome. And that was my reaction to Cobra Kai Season 1, Episode 5, Quiver. Every, every episode, I love this show more and more. I don't know how they do it, but I feel like every episode so far has topped the last one. Um, I mean, Episode 4 was a, was a banger, especially, especially with Mr. Miyagi at the end and those flashbacks with Daniel. But this one was just like... I loved this episode as well. Um... My favorite thing that happened this episode was Johnny's son and Daniel's bond growing. I think it's really interesting how Daniel is becoming the father figure for him. Um, and I don't, Johnny is not going to like that at all. But it is like such a whole, it was such a wholesome moment in the dojo when Daniel asked if he wanted to stay for karate and he said yes. Like it warmed my heart and... I'm so excited for him to learn like good karate. Maybe we'll have a Johnny and his son battle to the death. No, I don't want that, but yeah, I love this father-son relationship that Daniel is having with Johnny's son and that Johnny is having with Miguel. It's a little bit, it's very, it's not like twisted in a bad way, but it's like twisted. I don't know another, it's like convoluted, I guess, because Johnny wants to make amends with his son, but he is bonding a lot with Miguel. Johnny's son wants to be with Johnny, but then he sees Johnny with Miguel and thinks, oh, Johnny has, or my dad has replaced me. So he goes to work with Daniel as like revenge, I guess, almost, and realizes that Daniel's actually a really nice person and stays with Daniel and bonds with Daniel. And I think he's gonna start to grow with Daniel and learn from Daniel. And so I'm just really, really excited. 
Uh, Daniel does not know that he's Johnny's son yet, so that's going to be a really fun reveal whenever that happens. But I don't think that'll change Daniel's mind about him. I think Daniel is too... He's too accepting of people's differences and people's backgrounds and histories to figure out that once or to cast Johnny's son aside when he figures that out. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like this episode when Eli came back with the mohawk. That was like the coolest moment in the entire show. I don't know why. And then the music just hit and he's like, I'm making a change or something like that. And then Johnny called him Hawk instead of Lip. What a good moment. And then at the end when the music goes, and he's like standing in front and he goes, are you ready to learn or something like that? And then he smiles when they all say, yes, sensei. Such, such a good moment. Um, Sam, I hope that Sam learns karate more. I hope that she, she trains with Daniel, but I don't know. Maybe Daniel will start to neglect Sam because of, Johnny's son training with him now. Um, I'm not sure. I'm hoping that he doesn't do that. That doesn't feel like something Daniel would do, but sometimes he can be very oblivious as a character. So maybe he would start to kind of cast Sam aside, like almost not replace her, but spend more, spend less time with her. And like, yeah, just spend less time with her. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but I can see that as a possibility. I'm hoping that Sam stops getting bullied because I don't like it. I don't like bullying scenes in shows. I don't know why. It just, it hurts me inside a little bit. But, like, everyone in this whole school is being so mean. And Miguel's the only one being nice to her. And also, she is in love with Miguel, and Miguel is in love with her. So, that is a relationship that needs to happen. Imagine if Sam goes with Miguel to Cobra Kai and starts learning from Cobra Kai. Although, I don't think she would do that because... I'm pretty sure she knows what Cobra Kai is. I feel like Daniel would have told her at least once about his traumatic past experiences with Cobra Kai. Maybe not like right now, but when she was younger, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure though. And and especially because she has learned um, Kata, Daniel's method of karate. And like that punching isn't the only thing. It's more about like life and movement and balance and stuff like that. If he went to Cobra Kai, she probably, she probably would not agree with the mindset that Johnny has. Yeah, I don't know what else I want to say. This, this season, I don't want this show to end. I know I'm only five episodes into season one, but I'm already sad that season one is halfway done. Like, this show is just really, really well done. It balances the nostalgia really, really well. Um, it balances the humor and the action and the drama really well. And when the drama hits, the drama hits hard. And when the high moments hit, they hit high. Like when Johnny was asking if everyone's ready, like I wanted to be in that room with him going, yes, sensei, even though I don't agree with his methods at all. Like I still wanted to be in that room. So that's saying something to both like the actors and the way that they're portraying everything and the hype music. And then also just like the way the show was made and edited and written. Everything about it so far, I've just absolutely loved. Um, at the start, people were saying, not people, but um, my friends and stuff were saying that Cobra Kai was kind of cheesy and they did not like it because of the cheesiness, but I haven't found it like too cheesy. There's definitely been some cheese in it. There's been like a mild cheese in the show. There was like a huge truck outside for some reason. I'm sorry that was loud. Yeah, but there's been some mild cheese in the show. But I think it's added to the show and it's added to the charm of the show because the show is kind of replicating a show from the 80s in a way. Um, there's definitely some things that are very similar to 80s movies and 80s shows in this show. And the cheese just kind of adds to that because a lot of things in the 80s had a lot of cheese or things we would consider cheesy now, you know? Um, yeah, besides that, I love this episode. I'm excited to watch episode 6, so I will see you next time for my episode 6 reaction to Cobra Kai.